Hi, it's Crafty Tina's, and today I want to show you something I did with the shaker. Well, let me rephrase that. This is a shaker. This is a non-shaker. I've left out the beads and the plastic top so that I could do something special with the shaker. This is the We Are Makers button press insert to make shakers and puffy stickers. If you have the button press, you probably have the small circle button. This is the 25 millimeter or the one inch. And for some reason, it magically fits directly inside the shaker. But did you hear that? My magnet is now secure inside of my non-shaker. So let's see how this is done. First, you'll need a magnet to go on the back of your one inch button. You will also need a washer pretty close to the size of your magnet. It doesn't need to be any bigger. You will need your frame printed or plain with double sided on the back. I have a video showing you this as well as you will need your foam ring that you use to make your shaker. If you've seen my other videos, you know I don't buy the refills, I make them. So you will need one of these rings. This is three millimeter foam with double-sided adhesive on one side. This is going to be your back. Normally your back is just one piece of paper or cardstock, but you are gonna need to make a sandwich. Lightweight cardstock, printed adhesive. This is the paper you're gonna see inside of your shaker. Don't know what to call this because there's nothing in there to shake. You need a piece of double-sided adhesive. Simply add the double-sided adhesive to your cardstock. Remove the paper. Add your washer to the center. Then add your printed paper right side up. You're making a sandwich to enclose the washer. Just give it a good press around the washer to make sure the double-sided adhesive sticks. This does not make it thick enough to hinder pressing it and cutting it. So this is not gonna hurt anything because it's in the center. Once you do this, take it to your button press. Using the die cut, press it out. You will have the scallop shape printed on one side, cardstock on the other, and inside you will have your washer. After that, you simply need to add your frame to your back. You can do it in any order you want. You can add this to this first and then add it to this. It really doesn't matter. Let's do it that way. I've done it both ways and both ways worked about the same. Once you expose your adhesive, you need to add the foam to the center. I have this great little invention that my husband made me to line things up. You don't have to have it to make it work. It just simply makes lining it up much better. I pop it. Well, that didn't go well, did it? I pop it out, <laughs> remove my paper since it removed the paper for me, and now I simply add this to this to go into my press. This goes in first. Then this, make sure your printed side is down. And it goes into your press. When it comes out, you have the frame, the indent, and the cardstock's on the back. Now your magnet 
goes straight inside. Super cute way to make a card so that you can add a keepsake magnet. Another thing I was experimenting with is I like wax seals, but I've not been successful. Don't know if you can see this. This is crystal clear hot glue with a wax seal. I should have done a darker background so you could see it better. But you can make this using your wax seal simply by making your frame. This will hold your wax and using your wax seal to press the wax down. Leave it there until it's done and you have a wax seal inside a non-shaker. Just another idea, another way you can experiment and play with your We Are Makers button press, puffy sticker, and shaker insert. Another quick idea before you go is I saw We Are Makers show a spiral notebook where they had put a shaker or a puffy sticker on it. They didn't do a good video of making the puffy sticker or the shaker. It was more about making the tablet itself. So I took a Dollar Tree tablet, simply plain. They came in a pack of three. I added a shaker and a saying and a little flower. I simply tied a ribbon through the spiral part and it really dressed it up. One other thing I did was I added a piece of cardstock in the front and in the back to make the tablet more durable because their tablets are very, very thin for their covers. Simply making it a little sturdier made it a lot more impressive. Added a jewel, cute little flower, and now this makes a great gift. It's just another thing to do with your shaker. Stay tuned for more. If I get the wax seal part mastered, I will show a video on how to do the wax seal. I do have some colored wax coming so I can try this again, maybe make it stand out a little more. But what else can you do with a non-shaker? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.